In this video, we will be talking about what to expect at your first court date in a criminal case. My name is Veronica. I am a criminal defense attorney here in Los Angeles, and I help people who have been arrested put their criminal cases behind them so that they can enjoy their lives and their freedom. And again, this video is about what to expect at your first court date, and it is actually part of a series of videos that go through the entire criminal case timeline. You can also find below that there's actually going to be a link to this criminal case timeline so you can see from beginning to end what to expect. So let's start with the arraignment. Um, so many people, when you get a court date, you're told, okay, you're arrested, come back on this date, you're given a citation with a court date, you're like, well, what is gonna happen at that date? Am I going to jail? I mean, I've been asked that before. Is it going to be a trial? Like what the heck happens then? Okay, so the first court date is called an arraignment. And in general, not a whole lot is going to happen at that court date. What will happen is that you as the defendant will find out first whether the prosecution has filed charges or not. Sometimes they don't. And I have numerous videos about this, especially in domestic violence cases. Sometimes um, your attorney can contact the DA, the prosecutor before the first court date and try to get them not to file. Or sometimes the prosecutor on their own will look at the case and for a number of reasons decide not to file it. So you'll find out, okay, did they file charges against me or not? You will also find out what charges they filed against you. And you may say, okay, Veronica, well, that's stupid because I have right here, I know exactly what I'm charged with, um, that I know what I was arrested for. I already have the PC code and all that. Um, yes, but, when the police arrest you, they decide, okay, here are the charges that we think as police officers who didn't go to law school and don't really know, um, we think that your, your alleged crime falls into this category. But then the DA actually looks at it and they sometimes will go along with what the police came up with, but sometimes it is different. Um, sometimes the police will arrest someone for a felony when there's really no felony conduct even alleged. Um, sometimes the police will arrest somebody for assault with a deadly weapon and the DA decides for whatever reason that it's going to be attempted murder. So you're going to find out at that first court date what the charges are. Also, your attorney, at least in Los Angeles County, is going to get a copy of the police report. So we'll get to see, okay, sometimes people don't know exactly why they got arrested, right? The cops are talking to you, maybe they're talking to other people. You really don't know exactly who's saying what or what evidence they have. And we'll get a much better idea at that court date. You know, I say at least in LA County because in Orange County, Riverside County, and some other counties in California, we actually have to, after court, go over to the DA's office, pay them like $3 or so, um, and get a copy of the police report. Sometimes it's not even ready that particular day. Um, but either then or very shortly after, we'll get a copy of the police report. So you'll have a much better idea of you know where you stand and your attorney can actually start to really evaluate the case there. Um, the other thing that's going to happen is you are going to enter a not guilty plea. And some people have questions about this. Some people have said, but I'm guilty. What are you talking about a not guilty plea? First of all, you don't know whether or not you're guilty. You may think, yes, I do. I, you know, I, I was there. But the thing is, there may be a legal defense that you don't even know about. Or what if you're guilty, but we could get all the evidence thrown out and the case dropped? Why would you want to plead guilty at the first court date? Now there's one exception. Sometimes the prosecutor will tell your attorney, hey, here's the offer. If he doesn't accept it today, then I'm going to take it off the table. And what your attorney should do, and what I think in almost every situation, any decent attorney will be able to do, is we say, hey, look, I haven't even been able to look at this case. I can't responsibly recommend to my client whether or not to take this plea. Can we put this case over? Can we continue the arraignment and come back on another day? And that means there will still be court that day, but the arraignment will be rescheduled. So this arraignment only offer will stay open. By offer, I mean sometimes they'll say probation or you know whatever's going to happen with the case. Um, but sometimes if you don't have a very good attorney, if you have the public defender and they're very busy, if you feel kind of lost, you may think, oh shit, I should take this offer today. No, at least if you're in jail, it may be a little bit more tempting. You may want to take it. In that case, your attorney should ask for a bond reduction, try to get you out and maybe come back even the next day. How can the attorney tell you whether or not to take an offer if they haven't even read the police report? 
Um, so everybody enters a not guilty plea, and then there's going to be another date set. And what that date is called, it could be called a pretrial, it could be called a prelim setting, it could be called an EDP. All of those are check-in dates, which I'm going to cover in my next video. I hope that that helped. If you do have a case in California that you need help with, feel free to give me a call. You can find the link to schedule a call down below, and you can also find my number right there.